well guys look what we have here we have a 2016 california special mustang gt and it's got some goodies on it we're going to walk around the car go over a couple of things and i really want to highlight something here that looks i just think it's awesome i haven't seen this yet in person until now and this is their Cervini. Does this actually have a name for it? Cervini Stalker. Cervini Stalker. So you can actually see that it almost has a little bit of GT350 heritage going on. I think it looks really good. Yeah, look how deep this is. But you have these 20 inch niche wheels, if we're saying that correctly. Niche Targa. Niche Targa wheels. They look really good. I like that color. I think they look really good. I wonder how that would look on mine. Is it going to be that color or black? With the gunmetal, you see what the wheel is. You can see the depth. Yeah. And that's why I chose it. See the lines and all of this here. It looks really good. Yeah, I think it looks good. And this is, of course, what he is naming his car, Maleficent. I think it looks really good. The queen of all evil. <laughs> Mine's name is Carnage. And... That's about all that's been happening to it is just a bunch of <laughs> carnage. <laughs> Things breaking and no oh well, you know, you gotta pay to play. All right, guys, we have standard California special here. I love the Alcantara. Those of you guys that know me and have followed this channel for a little while, I'm a little bit jealous. I wish that I could have that in my car, but you know, Ford makes us pick and choose some of the options that we can get. But the cool thing is it's a Mustang and you can always add that stuff later on. And that is really cool right here. Let me show you this. This might be a future modification for my car. This is a Barton automatic shifter. And the way it works is it pushes down and then you put it into gear and then you can customize these. I think you actually had yours powder or uh, anodized. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple install. Yeah, yeah. Um did it awesome herself i was on the phone kind of guiding her but she, yeah she did it all by herself so you guys can see here we do have my 2019 and this is all that we have done and there is a, a hitchhiker here get out of there but i think that mine is starting to come together pretty nicely but over here for the 15 to 17 guys i think that this is one of the things that you should really consider i do really really like this front balance that he's got here from Cervini's. I think it looks really, really good. I haven't seen it in person until now. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not too much. It does come out a little bit further than it would normal, but I like the openings that it has. You know, this is pretty deep. So I've got my whole hand right there. It's pretty deep. I think what you got going on here looks really good. I do like the, uh, the purple and the black. I think it looks really sharp. Yeah, we want it to be unique, which is very hard to do these days. I think it's unique. So. Yeah, I think that, especially with this front end, sets it off quite a bit. It's always the little things that, you know, kind of make up the big picture. Yes. And I think that this is uh, really coming together. I like it. All right, guys, we are here. And this 2016 California Special getting buckled in because you got to be safe, right? And I love the Alcantara in this car. I think it's awesome. And this has the MBRP. Is it a street or the race? Race. The race. So this is the loud, the loud one. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Very, very deep. Yes, that's why I love the H pipe. I didn't want that typical raspy. Yeah. Exotic sound that they have with the H, um, X pipes. Yep. So, so this shifter is pretty cool. We're going to push it down and then come back to drive, and that works really well. Maybe something that I definitely need for mine. I can definitely get you a hook up with that too. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely do that. All right. And we are also riding on BMR performance springs, correct? Yep. So, not the handling springs, this is the ones that are down from that. This is not a performance package car. I can hear the, uh, yeah, you've got the switchbacks. Yep. I was just going to say that. that musical note. The dee, 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 dee. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good. We're in the sport mode now. And this is a 6R radio, of course. 
and uh, I'm a big fan of the automatics. I used to always drive around with manual Mustangs, but automatics these days are the flavor to have, especially with the new 18 and 19, so you have the 10, 10 R80s. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I grew up and realized these are rowdy when you want them to be, mm -hmm. and just relax, chill, you know, you don't have to shift 200 times to go to the grocery store. Yeah, good cruiser. Yeah, especially as you get older. I mean, it's always it's always fun to row gears and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm all for it. Always have been. I've owned like eight Mustangs, and they've all been manual. But you know, mine, my 19, is my first automatic, and uh, I love it to, to pieces. I tell you, we're about 2,500 RPM. And that's the drone that you're talking about with the race. Uh, the drone actually comes in when you're at 60 miles an hour at about 1,800. Okay, because I was going to say, right now, it's not bad at all. This is totally livable. Yeah. And uh, he didn't have long tubes in this car yet. And uh, you're either going to go with MBRP or Texas Speed, correct? Right? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one I wanted. Honestly, it's whatever deal I get at the time. Yeah, yeah. So, so I haven't been in a 15 to 17 car in a while. And... Uh, I can definitely, yeah, the, the hood is, is really apparent on the 18 and 19 where they've actually got it slowed down, but I see a whole lot more hood here in front of me, and I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I think so far these springs handle really well. I like them. Yeah, you haven't even turned yet. Nope. So, so <laughs> yeah, we got some turns come up here in a second. So let's give it a little bit of gas. And it moves out. shift kind of like my 10 r80 did back there so as we slow down let's see if it'll look yep so yep so does it wow 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 so it just has less to downshift yep <laughs> a couple less gears yep yeah just, just four <laughs> more of a drop so. so lots of power he's got the roush cold air intake and uh is that the tune or is that you still got the uh it still has the restrictor in it. Restrictor in it? I haven't, I'm not going to bother tuning it until I have just about everything I want. And you want to go with like the VMP blower? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm going to go with the VMP blower. I'm going to go with the headers. And, you know, I don't want to pay for tuning more than once. Right. Yep. So. And then you can do headers at the same time. So all of it, right. just all at the same time. Yep. It's going to go then, from zero to holy crap. Yes, it will. This thing will, will wake up for sure. Yep. Definitely still a fun car. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, even, you know, like 400 horsepower there about as a daily driver, I mean, that's about what you need to have fun with on the street anyway. So, you know, once you're in like that, that six, 700 horsepower club, uh, which is all the norm these days, I mean, that's a lot of power. That's It's far more than you ever need on the street, but, you know, <laughs> we, we always have to, we got to have those big numbers, yeah. you know. Because when you do decide to get on it, it's there. That, oh my God! Feel, it's there. You know? Yep. Yeah, that's something I've been thinking about too with mine here recently. Is wheels and tires? What I wanted to do? What color? You know, size? Do I want to stay with 19 or go to a 20? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe a 20 because um, I've never had a 20 inch wheel on, on a Mustang before. They look good. Yeah, they do. They, they I think fill it, out the wheel wells really nice. Yes. They have a nice, perfectly proportioned look to it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that it looks oversized. I think that, uh, honestly, they probably should have come with 20s. And, you know, some of them do. Some of the Mustangs you can order with 20-inch wheels. Yeah, but they're only 9 inches wide. Right. That's something I'm a little jealous of is, you know, I did opt for the, the Magnet Ride. But whatever springs that we do go with, you are limited as far as the drop. Which is okay because you still need to have suspension travel. Yes. Um, and a lot of people do forget about that. You know, slamming your car to the ground as much as possible is not the great it's not the, the correct way to actually improve handling yeah it looks um, good when you're parked but, it, but i think an inch you know an inch an inch and a half is about all that you'd ever really want yep. and all that you really ever should drop your car uh, because there's a lot of other things that come into play like you know your, your camber and, and yep. all of that yeah um, this, uh, the suspension geometry and yeah and it all has to work together it's designed that way so you know if you drop 
stop it, you know, X amount too far, then you've got to come and you've got to change a bunch of other things too. Yep. But the Magna Ride does work really well. This car doesn't have it, obviously, but these springs feel fantastic. And I've this is my first time in a, in a 15 to 17 car hearing this type of exhaust um, and then on this spring setup. And I think that it works very, very well. I think you've done a very good job. And um, I love the the purple accents and stuff that you've done to the car you know on the black car i think it looks really really good yeah. i don't think that it looks gaudy or anything like that i think that it flows really well especially with that new uh front balance that you have there i think it, it all comes together as a, as a really nice package right. um so anybody that's out there shopping for parts you know maybe definitely check out some of the stuff that he's done so he's got you know the, the barton shifter here for the automatic he's done the uh the valance from serenis there uh, this exhaust sounds good it does um we're at 55 mile an hour right now and it's it's still livable so if there's any drone you know i don't know i think it sounds pretty good Headers are going to wake this thing up quite a bit. Yeah. I can't wait to do headers of mine. Yeah. Um, probably would, spoiler alert, I'm probably going to do um, long tubes, catless, and then we're going to order an H pipe at the same time. And I actually, so you guys are getting a sneak peek here, uh, we're going to do a video long tube headers, catless, with the active exhaust, we're going to do with the X pipe and the H pipe so you guys can really compare. Because that is something that I get asked a lot is, you know, H or X. Well, you know, to each his own, but I like that shifter. I think that that thing is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I, I didn't realize they even made one. But I feel like I need that in my life. I like the feel of it. I like the shape of it, yep. looks of it. It looks really cool. Maybe a black with uh, the red, you know, the yes, race red that color. Would look that would look that really would good. Definitely. And Martin actually has Ford factory colors. Okay. So they actually have race red. And what does this kit cost? Uh, brand new, it's about 150 bucks. Like from Martin, it's 150 bucks, but I can get you a, a better deal. Well, that's still not terrible, you know. Um, like I don't have a discount code or anything. I just know the guy. So yeah. And that's the cool thing about Mustangs is, you know, aftermarket is sky's the limit. I mean, totally. Your imagination is basically the only thing that holds it back. Yep. You know, there's there's so much stuff that exists for these cars, uh, which is it was just awesome about, you know, Mustangs in general. You know, some of the other cars, the other the other uh, brands like Chevy and, and uh, Dodge, you know, you are limited to what you can do with the Mustang. It's it's about as customizable as like a, a Subaru. I mean, they, they make everything in the world that you could ever think of for these cars. Yep. Um, it's it's such a big, awesome community. And you have all these guys that are always thinking about new stuff to develop, new stuff to make, you know, and it, it, it's just awesome. I love it. But it also is really easy to go overboard. It, it can be. It can be. But well, I think what you've done here is, is very tasteful. That's what I was aiming for. Too. Yeah, I think Clean, it's tasteful. Yes. I like uh, I like being in these seats. Um, they are the There's regular so seats. Yeah, because I've got the Recars in mine, and yeah. these are uh, yeah, they don't hold you in quite as well as the Recars. But yeah. as a daily driver, do you need Recars? Yeah. No. And then of course these are Alcantara, and you have the red stitching in here, which looks really really cool. I like it a lot. Um, California Specials, they came pretty well equipped. Yep. Um, this is fully loaded, 401A, yep. California Special Spec. The only thing it didn't come with was adaptive cruise. But you've got blind spot monitoring, you have all yep. of that. It's a daily, I bought it to drive. Yeah. Every well, day. The guys watching my channel know that I'm probably never gonna gut my interior either. No. You know, I'm not gonna do any of that. You know, we're gonna make it a very, very fast uh, daily driver. <laughs> I think that that's important. A lot of guys, and the reason behind this is a lot of guys, uh, they start modding their cars and it eventually gets to that point where they start chasing, you know, tenths of a second and a quarter mile. Right. And then they start, you know, getting, let's take this out of the car. Let's take that. Yeah, well, sacrifice why you bought the car in the first place. Yes. And I optioned my car with pretty much everything that you could get from Ford 
So I don't want to get rid of that. And if that means that I suffer in a quarter mile, that's okay. Because, I mean, it's not going to ever be a drag build. I would just buy a separate car for that, then gut it and do what I need to do. I think these, these loaded up cars, you know, for, I know like you, especially me, I think that, uh, you know, all these, these amenities that we have, it, it, it really completes the package, makes it that daily, that great daily driver that we wanted the car to. Like, if I wanted a stripped-out race car, I wouldn't have bought... I would have bought a base car. Yeah. I would have bought a cloth interior, you know, and all of that. But um, we're going to throw a power at mine, and you're going to throw power at yours. Yeah. And then they're just going to be awesome to live with it on a day-to-day. -day. And I think that that is important to show everybody watching, you know, because uh, not everybody wants to, to gut their interiors. Not everybody wants to fear no bushings and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, I use this thing. Yeah. I don't want it to be comfortable. Like, I drove from Texas, 10 hours stand yesterday, and I'm going to be driving another four hours, four, four and a half, whatever, from here after I leave. <coughs> and it's totally comfortable. Completely fine. The yeah. It seats, the AC, it's really comfortable, really easy to drive. No problem. And I'll say that, you know, pretty much everything affects everything. So depending on your choice of, like, bushings for, like, the independent rear, or, you know, if you want to firm that up, or your choice of springs, uh, this, that, and the other, you know, some of that stuff does uh, come with extra baggage, you know, NVH and stuff like that. But um, one of the things I like about BMR is it's kind of like you can have your cake and eat it, so depending on what you go with. So, like, in mine, we did the CB010 kit, which is a part of the 005 kit uh, without having that extra arm. And then we're getting ready to do the 762, the CB762 kit on mine. And that's going to be a really, really cool video. Uh, plan to be the first guy out with that video. It's going to be very, very, very detailed. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you would like to see that. You guys know I do all these how-to videos and you guys seem to like them. And uh, yeah, this thing handles fine. If it handles really great through these, these turns, it's uh, this is great. But, I love it. yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, NVH, you know, because it is a daily driver. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, we're trying to stay away from mods that will bring some of that. But, you know, if it's a, if it's a gutted race car, who cares? You know, if it makes all kinds of creaks and noises, at that point... Yeah, because it's purpose-built. Yes, it's purpose-built. thing and one thing. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really like this car. I think that he's doing big things with it. And uh, I like it. I like it. It handles really well. Still got lots of power. Awesome daily driver. I like this shifter. I like everything about it. So I'll see you guys later. Stay safe on the road and uh, prepare for the holidays. I know Christmas is coming up and uh, we somehow have to get a Christmas tree into this house with a Mustang. So that's <laughs> gonna be a fun video. Call somebody with a truck. Probably gonna tie. It. <laughs> well, we, you know, maybe we'll tie it to the roof or something. <laughs> we'll see. All right, guys. I'll see you later.